Now we're going to talk about gardening in the ground. A raised bed is any garden bed that is raised above the ground. So you can see the soil that's spread around here, that's a raised bed. Doesn't necessarily mean it has sides, just anything above the ground. Next slide, Jennifer. Um, there are plenty of good reasons for raised beds. You can avoid walking in them and compacting or tamping down the soil, which is what you don't want to do. Um, you can save fertilizer, water, labor, and time by using red raised beds. Earlier in the video, you saw Emily's raised beds, which did not have walls. They can fit your space. They can be long or short. They can be oriented in whatever direction is best for your site. Raised beds drain better and they warm up sooner in the spring. And another thing that I'm probably gonna say again later is that if, if one growing season, you see that the orientation of your beds is not the best, you can always change them, especially if they don't have sides. That's just a little thing. Okay, next slide, Jennifer. Now, this is so beautiful, and I'd like to say that my raised beds do not look like this, but I wish they did. Um, you can see that they are three to four feet across, so you can easily reach your plants to harvest or to fertilize, and you don't have to get into the bed you don't want to compact your soil. The paths, these are beautiful, should be wide enough to walk comfortably between the beds. And if you plan to use a wheelbarrow or a garden cart, the paths need to be able to accommodate those so you aren't rolling over your plants or compacting the soil. Okay, next slide. Okay, so do you need those retaining walls? Remember we said a raised bed is any bed above the ground. You can make special shapes with your beds if you use walls. Um, you can use some creativity with what you use for walls. It's amazing how great metal guardrails are with helping to warm the soil. If you, if you happen to have any metal guardrails lying around your yard. Um, I also just happened to see in something that came in the mail today, um, this store is advertising metal frames that you can get, which would kind of be like the guardrails, but the guardrails are just so much better. Okay, raised beds are also good if you have mobility challenges. Um, at my age, it's harder for me to get down on the ground and get back up. So if they're a little bit raised above the ground, that makes them a lot easier. Some people have their raised beds on legs and um, I hope someday to have those. You can see the one in the back on the left is higher. Well, this one is higher too, but it's really obvious in that one on the back on the left. Those are the pros to raised beds. The cons are expense and they can serve as hiding places for slugs. Um, yes, my raised beds have slugs, large slugs. Okay, next slide. There are several methods for making raised beds. A basic method that you will find in your book, um, just with all kinds of exact uh, things for you to do. Um, Sheet mulching is a way that we're going to look at a picture of, and the no dig method is could be your favorite after all. Um, you see this where it says double digging down here? Double digging is really strenuous, and I think they talk about it in the book. So if you're just dead set on double digging, read it in the book, would be my advice, because I don't think you really want to do that. Okay, numbers. Uh, next slide, Jennifer. So you will get good results if you use this method for the basic raised bed, but it is hard work. And um, you can see people are, they're using twine and they're, um, you can, you've got dowels or uh, bamboo pieces to lay out your bed. And then you, you layer compost and fertilizer and 
whatever, um, those are really good things. Okay, but one thing about those raised beds with the walls, and maybe I said this, is you're not going to want to change the orientation. Pretty much once you've got them, it's going to be a lot of work to change that. Okay, let's go to the next slide. So these are the sheet mulch beds and they're layered as you can see, and you can read all about this in your book. And if we go to the next slide, you can see that there are bunches of layers and um, this is in your book. So if you wanna do this, you can do it. Okay, let's go to the, oh, one thing I, I get, hmm. I guess what I was gonna say about this is, it's also called lasagna gardening. So if you Google uh, lasagna gardening, you can get a lot of information. Okay, Jennifer, next slide. So this is the no dig method. You lay down cardboard or black plastic on your area and cover it with soil. I saw this today on, um, I'm not gonna be able to think of the name of the street because I can never remember streets, but I thought I should have stopped today and taken a picture. So, cause I could show you the actual place where somebody is doing this in their yard. Um, you lay down cardboard or black plastic, um, you put soil on top, the heat from the sun with the, and the having the sun blocked will kill what's underneath. This method takes a while. It's best done in the fall, but I've also heard from someone who did this one February and was able to plant around April or May. So let's see, this is March. Mm, be hard, be hard to have it work right now, but you might try it. This is by far the easiest method. You probably will not want to use this method if your gardening area is large. Okay, next slide. So here are Sheikah's raised beds. She might, if she's on here, she will recognize the photos. Um, some of her beds are without walls and some of them are with. One good thing about the one without is that if you see you don't like the bed's orientation with the sun in your yard one summer, you can change it the next summer. The advantage of the bed on the right with walls that you see here is that you can use PVC pipe and sheeting to cover tender young plants. That's a really good thing. Next slide. Okay, so this is my backyard probably 10, I can't remember how long ago, but long ago. And you see the two raised beds and you see that I inherited them. And you see that one, you can't see it, but one goes one way and one goes the other way. Um, and you also see all those tree trunks in the back. Those are the tree trunks in my backyard and in other people's backyards. So I don't get the full six hours of sun. But if you look over on that bed on the right, you can see those beans are growing and that made me really happy. Um, so that's why I like to garden in containers, honestly, because I just worry about the sun and I, I can move my pots around and coddle them if I want to. Okay, let's have the next slide. Here are some young bean plants that came up from seed. Since these photos of my raised bed were, were taken, we've been visited by a rabbit. We now have chicken wire around the beds. This year, we're going to have to add something on top because now we have a resident squirrel. It's always something, but the joy of growing your own veggies cannot be beat. It is so fun to go out there and see something different every day. I love it. 